Hey guys, uh, this video will be me doing my left hand nail set and I am a nail biter, just disclaimer, <laughs> that's what I am. Um, I'm going to be using the Prey Gel X nail tips to do this. I'm also going to be using the base coat from Eno Couture as well as the clear build gel from the gel bottle. And I'm just going to start by pushing back my cuticles and like I said previously, I am a nail biter. That is why I started getting my nails done all the time two weeks on the dots and then i went on to doing my own nails and that's how i started this whole thing so i really honestly cannot be with anything on my nails or else i would just sit there and bite them like crazy i bite both my nails and my skin it's just habit but whenever i have any type of nail enhancement whether it's acrylic gel um poly gel or anything like that i will not touch my nails which is very weird but i just always have something on my nails and then after i push back my cuticles i'm going to be using my medium grit sanding band and these are disposable these are one time use but i'm only using it on myself and i'm just gonna make sure i take the shine off my natural nail as well as clean up the cuticle area and this really does help with any lifting especially if you are a nail biter and tend to bite on your artificial nails which thankfully i don't but if you do you want to make sure you really really prep your nails so that you don't have any type of lifting As soon as I am done, I'm going to go on and etch the back of the nail tips and you want to make sure you really get every part that's going to be touching your natural nail so that it attaches really nice and you don't want to dig in there where you make dips or any abrasive work. You just want to file off the shine and get it ready and have it kind of gritty so that way it attaches to the nail a lot better. And I do this on all the nail tips. You can use something different, but I'm just using a cone shape cuticle bit here. You can use a ruler, uh, not a ruler, <laughs> definitely not a ruler. You can use a file, but it'll be hard to get into the smaller nail tip sizes. And here I'm just gonna do very thin coats of the E-Nail Couture base coat. Now, disclaimer for the gel bottle builder gel, you don't need any type of base. But I always put a base on my nails because I know myself I'm very hard on my hands and I just don't want to have to deal with any lifting just in case. So I do put a base but like I said you don't need it when it comes to the gel bottle clear builder gel. And I rarely would put any base on my clients and I've never had an issue unless I knew they were nail biters or they were very hard on their hands. Since I am a nail biter, I want to make sure that I clean off any gel that touches my skin. So I clean off the sidewalls very carefully and I also clean off the free edge because right now my current nails, my skin is actually a little bit over my nails, which I hate it getting to that point. It rarely happens, but I just needed to be off of nails um, just to get things done. I needed a lot of cleaning to do. I needed to do a bunch of stuff and... I'm going to keep my nails short for that reason because I've been keeping myself busy and sometimes it's a pain when they're super long and I'm always getting them stuck somewhere. So here I'm just putting a very light coat of the Builder Gel on my na natural nail as well as very light coat on the nail tip 
first just to spread it around and then I put the rest of the amount that's on the brush on the nail tip. I put it as far close as the cuticle as I possibly can and then I press down and right away I go into the lamp. Um, that's why I don't I can't show you too much after I press it down because the first time you actually try this is probably your best after you move it around it starts leaking to the sides unless you use a thicker gel consistent the a consistency then it will stay a lot longer i know Enel couture has a very thick gel that you can definitely use with this i've been meaning to try it but i ordered from them about a month and a few days ago and i still have not received my order so i don't feel like ordering the gel from them because it's just gonna take another month or two and i'm just not patient like that but like I said, you want to put a very thin layer on your natural nail and then you want to put it on the nail tip. And you tend to know how much or how little you need as the time goes on. I can't just tell you specifically how much gel you will need. It depends on your client's nail length. It depends on the gel you're using. It really has a lot of different situations. So I think with time, You'll do it once, you'll cure it, and then you'll be like, ooh, there's some bubbles in there, I needed more gel, or, oh man, I put way too much, there, it's spilling from the back. You will learn with time. I've done this for a while, and I've done it on different clients, so I kind of have an idea of how much to put in here, especially my own nails, and I don't mind a little bit extra on the side, I mean on the free edge, but it never comes on the sides unless you move it. If you keep moving the nail tip before you cure it, it's going to spill on the sides. And that's the end result I'm just showing you guys. Now what I do after I apply these gel tips is I go in and I clean the cuticle because when the nail grows out, I want it to be as smooth and as flowing as possible. I don't want no crazy big gaps, even though it honestly is very seamless. I just still go in there. It's habit to go in there and really clean to make sure you can see that I take no time to go in there and just clean it off a little bit. You can definitely do this with the hand file, but you just want to be careful on your cuticle. As soon as I am done, I'm just going to use this nail clipper that I got, I think from eBay if I'm correct, it was years and years ago. I love using this when I have really long nail tips and these nail tips are very curvy so they fit this perfectly. And like I said, I'm doing these really short, it's not something I normally do but lately I've been wanting to have my nails really short. I still want them done but I want them a lot shorter which this to most of you is probably normal length but um, to me this is short <laughs> and it's just, it feels weird. <laughs> Now I'm going to use my 180-100 grit file and I'm going to go ahead and shape them into a slight coffin, not too crazy, um, not too taken in, but um, just to give it some shape on the nails. And I'm going to do this to all my fingernails. After I finish that, I just brushed off any dust and powder and I'm also going to go in with these two colors from the gel bottle um, I do clean cleanse the nails with alcohol uh, before I polish and I do not use a base because this is gel polish and gel polish will adhere to gel product which is what the nail tip is made out of um, it works perfectly fine you can go in there and buff it a little bit and then polish it's really your preference I don't like to because I feel like buffing or buffing too much makes it too smooth and when you apply gel polish you want a little bit of kind of scratchiness on the nail so that it can adhere now the pink i will apply on that finger and i'm applying the black on my index finger my ring finger and my thumb because i'm gonna be going in with like a chrome powder towards the end of the video that is why I'm just going to be doing one layer of this color, but I will be doing two layers of that pink mauve polish. 
Now I didn't show my pinky finger bean polish. It is like a purple glitter, more of a burgundy color because towards the end of the nail set, I realized that it didn't really go with everything else and I didn't like the look of it. So I just go in there and I removed it with my nail bit and I applied the previous pink color that I did on my middle finger and I put that on my pinky so that it can go together. I do this all the time. I tend to change my mind on certain things because at the end I don't like how it looks. The great thing is that I can do that so I tend to be very picky when it comes to my own nails and I do go back and I do remove that. That is the only reason why I didn't show me polishing that nail. This is the chrome pigment that I decided to use. It's really pretty. It has so many different colors in it. It has gold, purple, green, some pink. It's a really pretty awesome color. Now, I label it in those little baggies that you see underneath my nail. And I labeled it with two different numbers because I do one under black and I do one under white. Just so when the client sees them, they can see how it would look on either or. And I'm just patting it in. I'm not rubbing it because I really, really like how they look just being patted on top of the nail. You can see more of a chunky color. Instead of rubbing it in, you'll have more of a solid color. Um, it's a big difference doing either or, but it depends the look I'm going for. Here, I like how it looks like you can see the flakes actually on there. Um, if I rub it in, you won't actually see the textured flakes. It would be more um, of a smooth finish. And I'm going to be using the Models 1 Top Coat. Now, I will tell you, anytime you use any type of glitter pigments or any type of flakes like, like I'm using here, you want to use a specific top coat for it. Because as much as you clean the top coat, sometimes it can get contaminated. So I use this specific one for glitters, pigments, and things like that. So it doesn't bother me if there is a little glitter on there. I still try my best to keep it as clean as possible. But it will cross-contaminate, especially if you do a lot of chrome pigments and things like that. And I just top coat those because those are completely done. I'm not adding more to it. I feel like it's already a lot on them. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to add some crystals to my middle finger. And as well as I will be removing the polish on my pinky and doing the pink polish and putting crystals on there as well. Um, the crystals I have here kind of go with the chameleon type of chrome flakes that I use on my other fingers. It has <clears throat> a little bit of purple and green and pink. It's so pretty. Um, so what I do to put any type of crystals, I just use regular nail glue. And then after that, I go on and add my activator, which will harden and dry the glue. And then I just top coat the rest of my nail. This works for me great. It lasts weeks until the clients come back. I never have had an issue. Now for the bigger crystals is when I use my gummy gel from Enel Couture. And now I'm just going to go in and top coat the rest of the nails that need to be top coated. And I'm using here Models 1 
top coat. I really do like the top coats. I have the matte top coat. I have the regular top coat. I have about like four of those regular top coats. I have backups. I really do like them. They're very close to my gel bottle products. So if you guys are interested in something like that, it is a very affordable top coat and they're really nice. Um, the little wood knob is a little hard to get used to, but after you get used to it, it's very nice and worth it. So I am done with this nail set. I really hope you guys like it. It's a little bit out there. I usually just stick to nudes or pinks, but I want to do something different. Now let me know what you want to see. I still have my right hand to do. What would you like to see on that hand? Let me know down below. Thinking marble. But not sure yet. Let me know, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you guys on my next video.